guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a souvenirs haul video from my trip to London and Scotland. I am super excited to show you some of the things that I bought back from these two beautiful places. I also went to Paris again. This year I went again with my best friend and we had an amazing time. Now, why don't I have any souvenirs from Paris? Because there was just no time, sorry. However, if you are interested in souvenirs of what to get from Paris, I do have another video for that on my channel. I will link it somewhere here. Let's get on to the video. So the first thing that I've written down is some cool gold coins. So while I was in London, my boyfriend messaged me and he was like, you know, it would be really awesome if you could get me some gold coins like the ones we got from Belgium when we went to Waterloo. So I was like, you know what, that is a cool gift to get like these really nice gold coins from the places that you visited. So you guys know those coin machines that you have to put like money into them so they can make like these really cool coins. So that's what I did when I was in London. We, My friend and I actually went to the London Tower and there was a section where it was all about the knights from the tower and how they protected it. So I thought that that was a really cool gold coin idea. So another really cool gift idea to get from actually anywhere and it's very inexpensive are some really cool prints or postcards. These are not expensive and they make really great gifts for anybody who loves art and it'd be really cool to just give them something from the places that you were. And so I know a couple of people from my own group of friends that actually like hangs these or just puts them like on a bulletin board of places you know, that your friends travel to, etc. So I really thought that getting a print would be a really cool idea for your loved ones. So we found a really cool shop in London and I got these really cool Harry Potter posters of the Marauder map. What I loved about these is the fact that they move. So of course it says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good from a quote from Harry Potter. So I really think that these make really cool gift ideas, coasters, obviously you can put your cup on top. What I do though is I actually put crystals on top. The one that I have is I put my magical moon dust bottle on top of it. So yeah, these make really cool gift ideas for anybody who is a Harry Potter fan in your group of loved ones. So the next item that I want to talk about again from London is a Big Ben statue. So I actually remembered that last year when I went to Paris, my boyfriend had actually gotten one of these for his mom, but the Eiffel Tower version of it. So sadly, when I went to London, Big Ben was all scaffolded up and I was really sad because as we were walking towards it, I'm like, oh no, I hope that's not it. <sighs> But it's okay, I bought myself a little Big Ben memento and I really like the fact that it does work. And also it reminds me of Peter Pan, so I'm glad that I got my Big Ben. And I really think iconic pieces from the places you're traveling are really good gift ideas for loved ones. One can simply not go to London and bring back tea to your house. So if you have friends or family members that are big tea drinkers, of course, no other place to get the tea from than from London. So I got several teas back while I was over there. So I bought this black tea for my family. This is the English afternoon tea. And my friend and I walked in to the Buckingham Palace souvenir shop after our little adventure in Buckingham Palace. The store was so freaking cute. They really like, everything was just so cute. So I was like, okay, well, I'll bring back some British tea for my family. And on the bottom of the tea, it says the Royal Collection Trust, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, 2014. So I think these teas were hand selected by the queen herself. I'm a funny person. I am giving the tea to my family. So as a family, I just bought my family back some tea. That was the main gift for them. So 
I was like, okay, uh, you guys can have the tea, but I want the box because the box is cute. But yeah, so tea, if you're visiting London, definitely get some tea for loved ones or friends that are heavy tea drinkers. Some other tea that I really wanna talk about quickly are the teas from Bird and Blend Tea Company. So my friend and I went to Borough Hall and I think this was the, our last day before we left and she wanted to also get some tea and we were Googling some tea places and this one came up with really high reviews. So they also have a website. I will link them down below if you guys are interested. So far, I have tried both of the teas, <laughs> the tea, and they are very, very good. I really recommend you guys check out uh, Bird and Blend because they have a variety of teas. Now, what was really cool is that when we went into the shop, they let us try their tea. So if we liked it, you know, we can obviously bring it back. And I just, again, whoever loves tea within your group of friends and family, I think this makes a really nice gift idea from London. Cause again, London, the British, they have a dedicated tea time during their dining times. The nice thing about these teas is that you can make them iced or hot. So I recently made a strawberry lemonade iced tea for my family and they absolutely loved it. So. Once again, this makes a great gift, especially for family members who love drinking tea or when you're with your friends and you can just make a nice iced or hot tea. And on top of that, guys, honestly, it smells so good. All right, so the next souvenirs I wanna talk about, this one's a little cheating, but I didn't feel like going to my brother's room, but I actually got these pens last year when I was in the Gatwick Airport in London. London has a lot of these really cool pencils and pens with crowns on top. So these were actually gifts from last year, but um, I didn't go to London last year. We just landed in the airport when we had to go to our next destination for our trip. I did end up getting crowned pencils from Buckingham Palace and I gave one to my brother and to my boyfriend. And what's cool is that the feel was velvet, but yeah, so you can find a lot of really cool crown pens or pencils and if you have a friend or a loved one that loves stationery i really think that this makes a really cool gift idea and you will definitely find a lot of these in scotland as well as london so just thought i should mention it harrods by the way has really nice london souvenirs they're very very cute also very expensive though so and so i only got these two pens so this is the bag that I got from last year when I was at the Gatwick Airport at Harrods. Harrods has really nice gifts to bring back. So if you didn't have time to get anything from London, you can always check the airports out. They always have really cute gifts, especially I've noticed in the London airports, both at Heathrow and at Gatwick when I've been there. So I've got this mustard yellow bag and I really thought it was a really nice piece especially for autumn, but I wear it whenever it matches an outfit, so yeah. If you have anyone in your life that loves bags, I really recommend checking Harrods out. Harrods is more on the pricier side, but they still have really cute um, things like this, and I really like the fact that it has gold tones, and it's very roomy, like the bag, and it has another little pocket in there, so it really fits all of my things. So next up, I actually wanted to share this book with you guys. Now, I'm not really that much of a reader. Like, I love reading. However, I don't read a lot. Like, I take my time reading my books because obviously life and I'm so busy all the time. But when I have downtime, I like to read. When my friend and I were in Heathrow, we went into the bookstore and we found some really, like, interesting books. But... I was about to get a different book. I wanted to get the Grimm's, original Grimm's fairy tale books when we were in the bookshop. When we were at the register, she noticed these really cool yellow paperback books. And I just wanna read you like a little quick history. So back in the late 1800s, yellow backs were a common sight on British railways, selling for two shillings. So. These yellow backs apparently date back to the 1800s when they were super popular back then. I thought that was really cool. 
and the book only cost two pounds. We got these old English um, books. I got Jane Eyrie and it's about as an orphan, Jane's childhood is not an easy one, but her independence and strength of character keep her going through the miseries inflicted by cruel relatives in a brutal school. However, her biggest challenge is yet to come, taking a job as a governess in a house full of secrets for a passionate man she grows more and more attracted to, ultimately forces Jane to call on all her resources in order to hold onto her beliefs. So it's like a really cool romantic book and I want to read it. My friend told me that once I was done reading it, I should watch the movie. I knew about Jane Eyrie. I just never watched the movie before or actually read the book. So if you have friends that love books, that like to read, yeah, check out bookstores in London. We got these at the Heathrow Airport and the bookshop for only two pounds. So yeah, reading books also make really cool gift ideas. So the last gift I want to talk about that I got from my trip to London was also when we bought our books we also noticed that the bookshop had some keychains. This keychain from London and on the back it says with love from London. We, My friend and I both got matching ones and it was just really cute. I like how the most iconic buildings are in the picture with the London Eye Big Ben and I believe that's Parliament, the Parliament building or Westminster Abbey, I'm not sure. You guys let me know in the comments below and on the picture is also a double decker bus those are what the buses look like in london i just thought that was super cool and the buses also look like that in scotland as well keychains are always a really good gift idea they're easy they're inexpensive and always try to get some cool ones like again i said with the most iconic things from that country all right so now that we've covered all the london souvenirs i'm moving on to all the souvenirs i bought back from scotland so from scotland i also got another keychain for my brother like i said keychains are very easy and i think if you get really cool ones then people will love them so my friend and i went to edinburgh castle i think that's how you say it edinburgh edinburgh we found a gift shop outside the castle. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to go inside the castle um, because that's the same day we were leaving back to London. But we found some really cool gifts and I ended up getting like a little crowned piece for my brother and it had like, I think all the Scottish jewels on it. And what was cool about that castle and the real reason I wanted to go in was because that was where Mary Queen of Scots, I don't know if you guys have heard of the show Rain. I am very interested in history. So it was cool to know that that's the castle where Mary Queen of Scots actually had her first son, James the first. And I just, I wish we could have gone in, but there was no time. There was no time. Like our train was literally leaving in like a couple of minutes. So we're like, no, keychains, very easy gift. Again, when you go to Scotland or London, you really cannot get away from Harry Potter. There were two shops in Edinburgh that were Harry Potter um, shops. One was called The Boy Wizard. The other one was called something else. I will list it here and down below so you guys can check it out if you are going to Edinburgh. So for my boyfriend, I got these playing cards. My boyfriend is a very big collector of really cool playing cards. So I found this really cool one with all the Hogwarts houses. I just thought that the shapes were really cool and interesting. So I know that when we went to Boston, he also got really like these cool mystic cards. So I ended up getting him some really cool Harry Potter playing cards. So if you guys have people that also love playing cards or such, you should get really really cool ones so just want to quickly mention that while you are in scotland you should try some scotch and it was all right it wasn't my favorite but i ended up bringing bringing i ended up bringing i ended up bringing some scottish whiskey back for my father um for my parents in general i now found out i really don't like whiskey also for anybody who is over 21 here in the US of America, it makes a great gift for anybody who likes to collect bottles from different countries. 
countries countries so back to edinburgh castle so while i was over there i know one of my friends asked me to get her a really fancy spoon so i found this one this one is for my friend um it says the crown of scotland spoon these are really cute if you have family or friends that love to collect silverware or kitchen pieces then this is a really cool spoon to drink your tea with also think about maybe silverware and home home pieces for people that have their own place uh, or you know want a really fancy spoon to drink tea but yeah so this is again from edinburgh castle in the souvenir shop okay we are down to the last souvenir this last one i am very excited for even though it is super tiny so i got these uh, carnelian crystals before leaving on my trip i wanted to look up crystal shops in scotland i don't know why i just felt like when i was over there they would have really cool crystal shops and what i noticed is when we were walking the town of edinburgh i noticed that a lot of the jewelry shops had a lot of like nice silverware and like very mystic fairy like jewelry which i really love i ended up finding one of the crystal shops that i had actually written down on my list before we went on our trip and it was called the weird shop and it was highly recommended to visit while you were in edinburgh so it's funny because i didn't think we were gonna have time for it and it was literally right in front of me while we were walking i'm like oh my god look the crystal shop i found yay so i ended up getting red carnelian crystals i also got two more for two of my friends i got these really small pieces because again pounds are more expensive so yeah their origin is actually from scotland so i'm glad i got a crystal that is from scotland so really quickly i wanted to share the meaning of a carnelian stone this is known as the singer's stone and it also promotes creativity confidence passion so it's supposed to nurture your need of self-expression and I thought that that was very appropriate for someone like me who was doing YouTube and trying to express myself in different arenas on the YouTube platform. And apparently I was reading online that Adele carries a stone like this before she sings. Anyways guys, so that concludes the end of this souvenirs haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully this gave you guys some ideas of what to bring back from your own journeys hopefully this video helps you guys out if you are traveling there and you are thinking about oh what souvenir should i get really think about the people in your life and what things they like and go from there and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really tried to make this as interesting as i could i know sometimes sit down chat videos can be a little Mm, hard to watch even for me my own videos are like that but i'm trying to get better so anyways peace out llamas i love you guys and i will see you on my next video bye guys